Welcome everybody, this is your strategy wolf and welcome back to Victoria 3, our Japanese Empire, Empire Emperor Meiji and in 1909 and we are at the start of the Sunda War. As you might have noticed our flag is in war mode so yeah, we wanted to make use of the um, yeah, civil war in Portugal and grab onto the, grab the easy achievable Asian colonies yeah unfortunately or whatever you want to see oh you want to see it they didn't uh, give in and so we're at war with portugal it should be kind of a short one since we actually have the support of the north german federation um i will let them kind of fight the um, war in europe or i will not really go over there only if necessary maybe and yeah so for the moment mm -hmm. Let's just uh, um, conquer here, down here, lose the South Chinese, Chinese troops here to take Macau. I could have mobilized them actually earlier. And for the Sunda Islands itself, we need our navy. Um, who are we gonna use for which navy? I mean, we will not use a really big one, or need a really big one. Anyways, I'm gonna do Mr. Ya Yasuhori Nire, so we have at least, there will be no problems over here. The Portuguese will have no chance. And um, that's, yeah, 32 should be also fine. We don't need a massive force. And then we shall see where this goes. I think we don't even have to focus too much uh, on the war. However, of course, I will report upon it. Um, apart from this, we established last time our um, telephone industry, our new electric industry. This is something we have to have a look on since... Um, the prices are still very high and the demand is unbroken and it feels like okay, actually go for capitalism over here and i will even get more oh it's plus 11 are we going to 20 already already so let's see how this price develops once uh, we achieved or got up to 20 uh, factories here and yeah then we can also use our um, we can get more bureaucracy and, and reduce our taxation problems in all the other states as well these insufficient taxation capacities if you remember um no market access in Sakhalin. i think we already put ports and railways out yeah we need a lot of migration up here how many people do live there 1.25 yeah, so people are coming. There's high, very high attraction, that's true. Since there's a lot of open jobs in here. Oh, oil is running, okay. Coal mines. Not fully staffed, but yeah, you see there's a lot of stuff going on here. The iron mines, not really stuffed. There's jobs available in Sakhalin, so we have to have a look. And the first battles get in. Um, yeah, okay, as you see, we are absolutely out. We're outnumbering them. Plus, we do have these, these stronger forces. While well, here's a worry something. We see the Russians really taking or subjugating here in Sumatra. Um, maybe we can justify our move south here in this region a little bit also with the threat that the Russians imposed by their moves to Southeast Asia. Something that we absolutely didn't want to see. But okay. Yeah. So our Macau should be taken very quickly, I think. Um, okay, we have battalions in reserve. We should get another general maybe out somewhere oh, in South China. And one in Japan maybe itself. So we have a couple of more. I think next time I also need more army groups because remember we only had two army groups that wanted to, should operate in Manchuria and Japan was fully exposed. So next time I will have more. Oh, it's actually only two years left until we are a truce with the Russians end. Oh, that went fast. That was really fast. Um, so let's see. Actually, West and uh, suddenly we have this massive surplus again. Uh, okay. Um, I also introduced the first cars last time, so we are on a technological change. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how the automotive price is going. Okay. Maybe we can switch another motor company towards cars and then introduce a couple of more. Not the massive one over here. It will increase our rubber demand also. And yeah, but we want these motorized tube troops, definitely. We need, especially if that helps us a lot in taking um, taking land quicker. At least our Japanese troops in Japan, I think are gonna get motorized now, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. And also our troops in China, most definitely here. These are quite big share of our troops. So let's see where this leads. I think maybe I got a little bit too greedy now, right now. But okay, we need to observe this anyways. 
Oh. Where do we have our uh, yeah, the automotives? 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 Um, I feel like blind. <laughs> uh, uh, down here. Okay, the price went up, but it's a stable. Uh, this looks actually like a kind of stable and okay price. So what happened? In the meantime, I missed telling and reporting about the brave con uh, conquering of Macau. It was a masterful piece by the Japanese army. And here we are actually just landing on the Sunda Islands. Alright, this should be also kind of a no-brainer over here. Um... Maybe we should also actually use our navy to raid a little bit of their supplies. Um, maybe those guys here, the smaller ones, you will go raid convoys here for Portugal indeed or over here. I think we're here, it comes all together. Or they can also take, of course, the Suez Canal. Ah, the Suez Channel isn't, hasn't been built, so of course then we do it down here in South Africa and we can maybe hunt down some of their convoys. It's considered more of a practice, actually. While here we see this ugly display of the Russian eagle, who's uh, putting their pressure up here in um, Southeast Asia, a region where they absolutely do not belong, in my opinion. But yeah, it is what it is. They have a Portuguese... What? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Who's... Why is... Who's... Uh, they have a treaty port here. What? <laughs> Porto? Why? Porto is a treaty port of France, all right? I mean... Good luck, France. Uh, good luck, Portugal. Tigray, well, also not my thing. And also Montenegro, sorry. Oh, but you tiny revolution. I do not care too much. Wonderful country, Montenegro. Don't get to fan. <laughs> I've been there. It's happy times, but yeah. And here in Angola. Okay, the Germans are fighting over here. Okay. I mean, over time, I think when we really take... I don't know if we need to go really to Portugal to enforce the war reparations, we shall see. And we get two technologies at the same time. So let's start with the electric arc, arc process. By put, putting an electric arc through metal, it is possible to melt it more quickly and efficiently. So we can make more steel, alright. And we get arc welding uh, access to it. And we do have psychoanalysis. Theories of personal mental development provide the framework for broader, th uh, broader theories of social behavior, which can, can be used to help understand the collective instincts and thoughts of the population. That's a very nice passive modifier, um, grants us even more bureaucracy. Nice to see. And yeah, very helpful. But let's check out the steel um, options, if this is for us an interesting technology right now. Um, uh, we get very, very cheap steel. However, we also need more electricity and iron. So maybe we start also, once again, small. But it's really, at least the forecast has it's kind of inefficient at the moment. Actually, so that maybe then that we just will not extend our steel industry and rather, I mean, we need more iron anyways. Import some. We will not extend our steel industry at the moment, and just every time we need our steel is getting expensive, we can. Right, it's not cheap actually. We can switch towards um, these electrical steel processes. Let's do it here in Chuhuku maybe as a starter, and we can slowly introduce more, 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 more. Here in the small scale, it's kind of useful. Um, I'm really kind of surprised where this massive, 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 massive income is coming from suddenly. I mean, I'm happy to reduce our debt a little bit. I mean, our... Okay. Defense in depth. By making multiple lines of defense, it is possible to spread out and slow down the enemy and sometimes even, in, even envelop them. Army defense and moral loss. Alright, also a good one. Will help us a lot in the future. Oh, 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 now I know, because also now we're wasting production. I think now it's the time when we're wasting production. Oh, we need to eat rubber. Oh, God. Do we have potential for this one? No. And that's maybe also a good reason why we're taking the Sunda Islands. We can get some rubber production down uh, out there. Um, more imports. Yeah, we take everything we can get. And then that's actually because we have only you know, two years to go. 
Oh, we also have a lot of we missing workforce. Maybe we should have to introduce a couple of workforce saving measures. Anyways, let's expand our barracks because that's what we wanted to do. And get more troops in Japan. Yeah, it, this is the main reasoning why we're doing all of this. We need to punish them. And once again, we're running out of... <laughs> it's always happening. Of course, we have problems with the infrastructure. Okay, they are doing it over here. Kansai even. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes the capitalists or the investment, the automatic or the... They can sometimes invest even in railways themselves, but I must say this would be nice if this would be kind of automated, actually. Always, like, waiting until... I mean, of course, they can calculate, and first things I do is building infrastructure before I expand, but it's something that should, I don't know, feel... I feel like it should come automatically hand-in-hand. Hand. But look at these massive cities we actually have these days. So Japan is crazy populated, and I think it's really beautiful to see that. Especially seeing these oversized trains rushing here through the city. And now we're in a deficit again. Wow, that was fast. Ibo uprising, yeah. It looked like kind of like Vichy France, <laughs> but uh, it's not. Um, Alright, are the. Okay, the Germans are apparently like having no chance over here in Angola versus the Portuguese. The entire Portuguese army is fighting here. A little bit odd that the Germans are not deploying any troops of any kind. Uh, well, it is what it is. No migration control. Migration controls. Uh, I do. We need to. But the Portugal's war readiness is decreasing and decreasing. I guess so. But to be honest, after the game... Oh, they capitulate. Okay, I was about to say I'm going to start an invasion in Portugal to speed things up since the game sometimes apparently wants us to be cheesy. But no, okay, we took them, we took them. And now we have the Sunda Islands down here. Um, that I will immediately also make use of. Is there... So we have... Oh, we have a lot of turmoil. Okay. But we're not going to integrate them, of course. Um, they are a colony for our... Um, yeah, well, okay, I wanted to use rubber, but this is actually not so much. Is there anything special going on? Tropical? Nah. Well, let's get one... At least one... Construction company out also over here. Then it's gonna be faster. We're gonna have a couple of navy bases for sure. Just for style. Also a couple of barracks. And... Yeah. We shall see. I hope I can do a little bit more robot over time. Wood is always also a good idea. And maybe we're gonna go into... Yeah, let's also... Let's make use of our new colony very soon. Um, question is, of course, how long it will be uh, taking due to the... Um, th uh, what do you call it? Up turmoil. Due to the turmoil, I think the efficiency of the construction is also limited. But we're only building small things. So I think the overall... Situation in, in Japan is not going to be so bad. Anyways, welcome our new islands here in the in our empire. Mm, do we need to... Are we lowering already with Banja? Is there anything we need to do actually diplomatically since we haven't been doing a lot of this? Yeah, improve with the states. I really don't want the states in, to be honest. And they, oh, actually, I was just about to say they, they haven't been so aggressive, but I forgot that there was the certain uh, President Cox who, who expanded heavily. And now they even, are the states even, I don't know, I thought they also kind of owned uh, southern Italy or something, but apparently Italy got, got united, I think. Oh, I, I, oh, oh, sorry. I was just mixing up games. I just remember we also fought the Italians like a couple of years or uh, 10 years ago, so it's actually nothing new. Persian secession, all right. Yeah. I don't know. Raymond, also not kind of our thing. Uh, 
And we do have here the trade unions want no migration controls. Is this something we might actually want to go for? Um, interesting, we haven't really been playing around with the laws recently. Um, maybe let's introduce a national guard. I think this makes us secret police. Oh, this will radicalize the high min. This is sad. Also not a good one. Uh, they wanted no migration controls. Actually, this is just bad for us. I really try to avoid this because then Japanese would just leave, potentially. Public health insurance. Is this something we might want to do? It will annoy a couple of people, but also make the trade unions happy again. Yeah. I also don't want to give too much power to the, you know, to the, <laughs> to the others. What about actually introducing voting rights? It would make most would make most people quite happy in here. Even here, this if you go for sense and suffrage, we would even give the uh, the trade unions would be happy. Of course, it would also provide way more, way more power to these. Um, groups we don't want to have. Actually, let's just keep it. I mean, this is kind of really na uh, nasty, maybe, and um, thank God we're not playing with the voice of the people yet, so might, sometimes I feel like these new uh, agitators bring in a lot of um, wildness and revolutionary thoughts. Um, oh, radicalism even decreased just now. Yeah, I don't want to have the migration controls. And as long as nobody's really asking for uh, voting rights, actually, I'm happy to keep the oligarchy since, um, I mean, we are historically already, like, the Japanese had a parliament before in a kind of a democracy. But, um, yeah, I mean, why would we get it if we don't need it? And actually, while talking about this, I see a bureaucracy going down. And... Isn't there... Um, what about the telephone? So we can use new telephones, of course. This was something I want to do the entire time in Shubu. Alright. Um, now we got, again, new bureaucracy. Let's have a look in Shubu how this affects our taxation. I think we can, once again, get rid of a couple of them. Taxation capacity and... Actually, it's also okay to deconstruct since we have a lack of workforce here and there. So I think it's actually okay to do so. We can also then just go to 20. Yeah. The, the uh, telephones really make a huge difference in my as far as I see. Oh, and now we have a problem with bureaucracy, so we need to change somewhere else. How is the telephones doing? Still kind of cheap. All right, then it's doing Kansai. Oh, we did it already here. Here was too greedy in deconstructing. All right. Um, let's go up here. Shikoku. And Kyushu, then next one. Also Shikoku, I think I can reduce a little bit then here to maybe six. And yeah, we're still fine. And Kyushu, we can also switch to tell oh, we already did, so we need a new one also here. So yeah, actually we changed all of our um, government administration to maybe let's get two in here also. Do telephones, that's nice to see. Actually, we can have a we can also change. I think do we have others somewhere? Maybe in the colonies, some government buildings. Then yeah, come on, then let's actually do it everywhere. Well, in Taiwan also. Then we have it fully switched to telephones, that's fine. And a mining accident in Fiji. A mine in Fiji has collapsed, trapping miners within the dark shafts below. The scale of the accident has made a tragedy a story across Fiji and the nation. Uh, well, uh, Fiji is really not so much in the conscious of the politicians or leaders in Tokyo. In Fiji we get more radicals. Well, uh, yeah, definitely it's good. There's a small price to pay. We want the... Right at the Saibatsu still big, so this is fair. And we couldn't care less. Due a promotion. The armed forces demand the promotion of Brigadier General Hiroshi Matsuadira, touting his history of loyal and effective service. Um, Alright. 
so many medals ab ab adorned his jacket that one could sc yeah, scarcely see the fabric beneath, but it was not enough, yet enough. Chest puffed out with pride, the general smiled at him as he imagined the look on Shimamura's face when the field marshal learned of his Im imminent ascension. The rivalry he was legendary among the officers. At last he would have his due. Um, yeah, come on, let's, of course we will promote him. We, are, we need capable and loyal officers, there's no doubt about that one. All right, actually, and now, now what I want to do next is kind of check all about the employment situation. If we have, oh, Kanto has, how could this jump, like within a second, wasn't there just a million? We are creating good new jobs, I think. Okay, here we have, and Kokaido, we have problems with the stuffing. Um, actually, so I will change, and Hokkaido, I will change to the rotary valve engines. And every kind of measure that saves us workforce, because, yeah. You know, once, uh... If they don't have enough workforce, they need to be equipped with, uh, or like, we need to save up some. Um, okay, we have, oh, gold mines. A lot of stuff going on here. They are already, like, on this kind of production methods, wheat farms... Tractors, all right, all there. Well, maybe then just people need to migrate here. I mean, not always every single packery needs to or building needs to be stuffed. Um, yeah, maybe have a little bit leftovers now. Actually, let's have a. Uh, I'm kind of interested about our population right now. Let's have a. It comes to my mind. We have 122 million, the sixth biggest nation worldwide. How how does it look in comparison? So the Russians have only three million more. This oh the states grew heavily. This is impressive. This is new. The states were pretty lagging behind GDP wise. It's also still not the country of dreams. Or <laughs> there's no American dream going on so far. Rather the Japanese dream. Despite our losses. All right. We are one of the biggest countries in the world. Sure. And how many Japanese do we have out of? them still 80.88 million japanese okay and the chinese are getting fewer and fewer at least percentage wise do we have some japanese moving over here uh, not that many but that's expected and good to see and yeah our our balance is really bouncing up and down sometimes let's see uh yeah diplomatic maneuvers crush kanak secession um oh, over here yeah well we are allied with them anyway so we're in and next grand duchy of finland we have a revolution in finland the russians should be able to take care of this we do have aranya i also couldn't care less rubber discovered in pigo okay How much costs it to go up here? Yo, I mean, I mean, we're like just one year away until our truth ends. So we will have a lot of also, we will save basically 211,000, you know, that we can either invest fully in our military, which might be an idea to finally get our revenge from the Russians. Uh, our battalion size have slightly, has slightly increased, increased in the meantime. And we finally researched the pneumatic tools, which gives us gives us a bigger dis the resource discovery chance. So maybe we get some more coal or oil or whatever soon. Anyways, pneumatic tools. One of the greatest forces man can harness is the air itself. Pressurized air applied correctly in pipes and pistons can provide an astounding amount of force for industrial use. Hardwood output was really desired, I think. That's what he wanted since, um, oh yeah, it, if maybe it's already in there. No, probably not. Anyways, and construction sector and resource discovery, a lot of stuff, nice things. Probably this the production capacity is gonna increase also very soon. And now we are going for I think the radio since we already got the buff. Yes, so we can get the radio out. Then we can switch to uh, the electrical industries to radio. And then we can finally also modernize our fleet towards dreadnoughts so we have a, comp a competitive and modern fleet so I, I think this is a little bit weird sometimes that you know you can't have dreadnoughts without with the radio but so you basically two technologies are necessary to sufficient or efficiently run this well it is what it is 
And here we have a market access problem again. And I wanted to yeah also get actually more. What if I move actually everything over here? How many missing are missing actually with our our main force has been motorized already? That's the Sunda maybe Sunda is motorized okay. Let's to be honest, let's make all motorized. We're a modern nation with. We want to rely on efficiency and very um, modern troops and technology. If we want to beat the Russians, mere numbers can't be the the solution for us. Is it really affecting us so badly? Uh, rubber. Actually, automotive is the automobiles. Where are they? Here. Yeah, all good. All good. All good. Any no chance to import rubber and coal? No. Ah, let's try with the Germans and yeah. An unused production, okay. See, ah, yeah, this was a jump made by the efficiency, the throughput that we got. So we're over a thousand construction now. That's quite massive. And we should build, uh, should be able to build things very quickly now. Actually, let's just go to the, the 100 barracks here in Kanto. And yeah, why is. In, in the Sunda Islands. Why not, actually? Yeah, no, this is fine. Let's build up some troops over here that might be able... Oh, the turmoil is increasing, okay. Then maybe it's to the violent suppression. We do have the authority at the moment over here. And these jumps here is really hard to explain. <laughs> I really can't explain why things are happening like this. Okay, we have the war with the Melanesian uprising. I think I will not really send my own troops. The Germans can handle their uprising. We have a lot of cheap oil and let's keep on exporting a bit. I want to keep them profitable, of course, also the oil deals we do have. And yeah, everything down here can be sold. We do have leftover bureaucracy, especially our uh, industrial products. No, the Russians are not getting any weapons from us. However, the rest of the world, I'm happy to supply with some weapons. Maybe we're gonna lose the efficiency anyway, so the demand of our weapon, only weapon demand, is gonna increase very soon with the new barracks everywhere. So, yeah, let's see. Yeah, you see, it takes pretty long to construct things over here due to the um, even small things we have. Yeah, construction efficiency, efficiency minus 85%. That's. Are we just building in the Sunda Islands at the moment? Yeah. Well, that is what it is for the moment. Then we will shift again to other places. It's not so much Afghan secession. Okay. Actually, you could have... Mm, ah, well. Iraqi secession. All right. A lot of revolutions going on these days. I hope that we are... The Germans are crushing here. They're, yeah, they, they are. But I feel like everybody is lagging behind in terms of technology for the troops. Just us have... Like, we have cars and we have... Uh, the most modern artillery and so on, while the Germans also relying on, on trench infantry, while the others are relying on yeah, their old, outdated regular infantry. It's a little bit surprising. So it makes it even more tra uh, tra tragic that we lost the war to the Russians and uh, makes me even more angry when I think about it again. But all right, guys. There is... Um the truce with them until November 1911. So I guess, yeah, 1912 might be a time to, yeah, he's treated as fine with here down here. 1912 in the spring might be the time to start a new war versus the Russians. Given the, let's see how their situation is. Do they have a defensive pact? Yeah, with Moldavia. Well, we will see.
And I think this is actually once again a great moment then uh, for today to stop with this episode. I hope you like this one. We saw the um, Sunda War, the quick Sunda War that made us the boss of um, the Portuguese possessions here in South um, not, in, in Asia. How much are they actually paying? Yeah, we got the significant 3,000 <laughs> war reparations from Portugal. They absolutely turned into a minor nation now. Um, do we actually, this because it meant talked about it and I didn't even check are we now spending convoys to trade with Portugal um, yes we do yes we do so we this we it was a little bit disadvantageous to take over Macau but as I said I think once you have this province it belongs to to the situation so yeah I hope you like this one um, leave me a like and a subscription if you haven't yet it helps me a lot and motivates me a lot while it doesn't cost you anything and let me know what you would do how you would uh, tackle the next steps how we should be addressed the Russians and what measures should be taken so we have a hopefully successful second for us successful russia japanese war who knows um anyways i hope you like this episode and then see you next time bye your strategy wolf